Now, buddy, here we are taking off from this meh, relatively short runway on a Boeing 747. And everybody, something that's about to happen is one of the more, you know, common aviation mishaps. Everybody, a overrun. When you can't quite get your airplane into the air, maybe due to performance miscalculations, maybe you took the wrong taxiway and then you, boom, overrun, which sometimes can end up pretty badly. I mean, take a look at how we just jumped above that bridge. Yes, everybody, a runway overrun. A type of accident that is often considered when building an airport. You call this the typical runway safety area here, the red um, bar. You'll see that in most airports, you've got quite a lot of free space before or behind the runway to make sure that in the very unlikely event of an overrun, an airline will just end up in the grass area. And that's what oftentimes happens. Sometimes though, there are airports where such space isn't given. For example, this is Key West Airport. You can see that you don't really have a lot of space here and there. Um, which can sometimes lead to some problems. Here we are in a puddle. Actually, this uh, Gulfstream G150 did quite well on this accident. But it's true, there are definitely airports where you really wouldn't want to overshoot the runway. Now, now obviously, humans are uh, quite smart, and so they've already thought of, well, we know we need some sort of arresting cable system, something like that to stop the airplane, kind of like a safety net so that it doesn't run over into this little river. Hmm, what could we build here that could stop the airplane? Well, luckily, there is a company called Runway Safe, and they developed an EMAS Max system like two centuries ago, where they practically build a cellular cement block at the end of a runway that, you know, if a landing gear hits it, kind of like cookie dough, is stopped very, very quickly. For example, they built a EMAS safety bed here at the end of Key West, like 20 years ago. And well, it's been very helpful so far at preventing mishaps. There we go. We have a Cessna 550 Citation Mark II that crashed here into the EMAS bed very safely, though. You can see a lot of dust foaming up instead of overrunning into the swamp, where there's a lot out of um crocodiles. This is what the plane looked after the incident. Looks a whole lot better and safer than the crocodile method, doesn't it? Now, I've made videos about the EMAS safety bed and how cool it is before a few years ago, but we were never able to simulate it in the simulator. But now we can because there's an add-on that it's called Simple Ground Equipment and Services, which adds aircraft arresting systems like the EMAS safety bed. Let me see here. There you go. Here we can turn it on, arrestor system. We can put it here on runway 03 in this Swiss airport. And we, oh, there you go. We could just now see how the safety bed was built. This cool thing is that we can put this into any airport around the world. Damn, thanks to this add-on. Obviously, not every airport is equipped with such, you know, expensive cement. In fact, it's only 77 airports in the US. And so it's really only built where it's really needed in order to remove the runway safety area. Anyway, let's go ahead and take off again with our 747. A plane that is way too heavy. We do Oh no, we have not got enough engine power. Like that. All right, there you go. Now, the company says that you're able to hit the EMA safety bed at up to 70 knots, and it will successfully stop you, depending on the weight. Let's, let me see here what the simulator does for us. I think the bridge was actually in the way. Uh, whoops, uh, that even has gone worse. Perhaps we can try the International Airport of Nice here in the Côte d'Azur en France. This one could be in need of a, you know, arrest our system because you really don't want to end up in the water just like the 737 all right let's select the runway here runway 22 right and we are about to see there we go an emus bed pop up let's see if it's going to be able to stop this big 747 i mean the faa has a great website on you know arrestments that have happened in the past up until 1999 it's even helped out an md11 so bigger plane or 747 at jfk so yes emas is also very usable for big airliners so here we are on board a 747 we are already at 80 knots we're quite fast oh Oh no, everybody, we are not going to make it. We're going to crash into the stone barricade off the runway into the water. Unless there's a SEMA safety bed that can help us. Please work. All right, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. That's worked just as it should have. Everybody, the EMA safety bed has saved not really our lives. It wouldn't have been a very deadly crash, but it saved definitely a lot of trouble. And we already have. Um, is that the fire? Oshkosh engine that can help us out. Isn't that insanely cool? Now, but this is London City Airport. As the name suggests, it is in the middle of the city of London. And so it's highly limited in its space. 
I mean, we've talked a lot about it and definitely falls into criteria for needing an EMA safety bed. And well, guess what? This scenery is already outdated because in real life last year, London City installed EMA's safety beds indeed. Here we have a lot of detailed photos here of the safety bed being built. There you go. You can see this is one of the cement blocks. And aha, there it is, finished on the part of the runway that, go, you know, dips in the water. Now, despite this runway being relatively short again, there has actually never been an overrun accident. Perhaps that's why you're extra careful here. Now, perhaps because pilots are extra careful here, that could be a reason. And yes, everybody, let's go ahead and apply the brand new changes that were completed in May of last year. All right, so let's go ahead and do this now. We are here in the beautiful runway 27 here of London City Airport indeed. And well, let's just say that there is a construction site Side right at the end of the runway, which is why you really wouldn't want to override into that one. That would be quite deadly. So let's go ahead and, and take off. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, that's the flat. We have. Who cares about flaps or about a wreck or airplane into a block of cement anyway? All right, I want to perform because it's kind of like a Marathon Airlines classic where you barely overrun. Maybe have a tail strike as well. Try to do it. Come on, you can take off. You can take off, right? Oh! Oh, well, that's actually pre prevented the, the whole thing from working. Uh, you know, I do wonder, what, what are the speed limits on the EMA safety bed? I mean, we can go really quick, right? Twice the speed that we were, you know, able to go in order for the cement blocks to actually hold us. Aha, uh -huh. so it seems like this is quite realistically simulated as well. So when you go over the speed limit of 70 knots, that thing won't help you. Perhaps you'd also have a wrecked landing gear that now isn't shown here. Luckily enough, most overruns happen at quite low speeds. So that the Emus bed failing on you wouldn't be that much of an issue. Come on, yes, reverse thrust. I need to stop now. Don't crash into the construction site. And we haven't. Very gently stopped there. I mean, you know what? You know, I always love talking about is short runways here on the channel, right? This is Helgoland Dune Airport. Um, this is uh, the longest runway. It's only four, five, 500 meters long. And you really wouldn't want to overrun here on a landing, would you? I mean, there's children here. Achtung. Yeah, um, more than that. Let me try and place some Ema's safety beds here in order for if a landing goes wrong, would you? Is always the case. It's probably a very expensive operation. No one gets hurt. All right, this is quite interesting. Uh, why is the runway placement a little bit off always? Hmm. Yeah, this is not too perfect. Interesting. All right, and now we're landing. Now, am I worried about the fact that we are approaching a very short runway now, the runway 06, which is literally only 200 meters long? I'm not worried at all. I mean, we are very fast. We are way too fast, but that is fine. All we need to do is stop and we will do that without any issues. All right, now reverse thrust and, and there you go. Oh no, that hasn't worked. We've run over a person. Probably because we were way above 149. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we were a bit too fast there. So, sorry about that. That hasn't worked. Over I think we can all say that the EMA safety bed is quite a genius invention. Although I am a little worried about, you know, cases like Marathon Airlines crash, where you kind of barely hit the EMA safety bed at the end of your uh, run. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. That's gone well. Look at looking good. A cool detail is, of course, also how the brakes are glowing. Can you see that? Because we applied full power on the brakes. That's interesting. Yes, everybody, we have messed up our plane, but that is So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.